before this video starts first of all hello thank you for being here but before the video starts i just want to let you guys know that in this video i say that i'm filming this on february 1st and i'm posting my new look at on february 1st the look is already posted on my instagram at mini artistry but the video which you're watching right now was supposed to be up february 1st and i've just been had a lot going on my spring semester just started so i've just have a lot of new changes mentally so yeah this video is taking longer to edit than i anticipated because i'm doing school right now so yeah um i don't know when this is going to be uploaded definitely we're talking on february 3rd so i don't know when this is going to be uploaded but i hope you guys enjoy the video and i love you so much and thank you for being here i love you let's get into the video hi angels welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is evan and welcome to today's brand new video So the day that this is being uploaded, February 1st, is the start of Valentine's Day season and Valentine's Day culture. So you're gonna see, be seeing a bunch of white, pink, and red. And also with the Valentine's Day season being here, you guys know I always come up with my iconic Valentine's Day looks. And I thought for today's video, why not do my first Valentine's Day look of the season and also talk about my situation with boys. I'm going to be talking about how I'm turning 18 this year but still haven't had one boyfriend. My experiences and my years of being in the LGBTQ plus community with boys and just starting to like certain boys and what happened, why they didn't work out with certain boys. So if you guys want to hear that while I do this really cute my first Valentine's Day look of the season, keep on watching. Before we officially dive into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel to become an angel, a part of the angel family on YouTube, our little family that is growing. Also, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. Also, comment down below and tell me what was your favorite boy experience in this video and also some of your boy experiences or just give a nice little comment, say hi. And yeah, do not forget to follow my social medias. They'll both be right here in the artistry on Instagram and TikTok. Now, let's dive in. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start my makeup. First, gonna be priming my face. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is the primer that e.l.f. Duke, the Milk Hydro Grip, and this primer is amazing. I just got it brand new, and I'm so excited to use it. Also, let me know if you guys want me to do an in-depth, like, base routine, because a lot of people like my base. So if you like my base, comment down below, and let me know if you want me to do a in-depth base tutorial. So, going in with this primer, and let's start talking about these boy experiences. So, um, not a lot of you guys know this because I haven't done like a coming out video, my coming out experience. I feel like I do want to do that because before I came out as gay as like at like 10, 11 years old, I always looked to videos like that to like help me come out to my friends and family even though they already knew because baby. But like I kind of want to film a coming out video and just talk about like my whole experiences, the struggle I went through like mentally and stuff in my coming out journey. So if you guys also want to see that video, don't forget to comment down below. So coming out as gay, obviously that was like a while ago. I was like 11, 12, 10, around there. So uh, it's been a while since I've like my first boy, like actual boy crush. And guys, like... I've had a crush on a lot of boys, but let's talk about this first one. Let's call him Manuel. So Manuel and me met when I was in sixth grade in middle school, obviously. And basically, I like had a crush on Manuel as soon as I saw him. He was super cute and I loved like the aesthetic that he was giving off. And at a certain point, you guys are not gonna believe this, but he liked me before I liked him. And the way that I wish that we liked each other at the same time, but honestly, life is just the way life works. And if it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. Hey y'all, so it's Evan in editing. I'm editing right now. And I forgot to mention, even though I don't want to identify the person for personal reasons, um, they do go by they, them now. And like, I totally forgot because I filmed this like at like 4 a.m. So like, I was very tired, but they do go by they, them now. And yeah, I wasn't disrespecting their pronouns at all. I just totally forgot. But at the time when I did like them, they did go by he, him. So yeah, that's just a little disclaimer moment. I didn't want to disrespect their pronouns. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. 
I love you. Like y'all, I had a crush on this boy for four years. If you think about four years, that's a lot. Like that was like an actual, actual like crush because like, Think about liking someone for four years and just like getting nothing back and the thing with this guy was he always like would bounce around with his like sexual orientation like now that i look at it he was probably just trying to find himself like his label or whatever like i don't know if he didn't want to label it or what it was but like, he would always be like oh i'm bisexual oh i'm straight i'm bisexual i'm straight like honestly like for me it was really confusing because i was like if he's bisexual okay like he might like me back but if he's not bisexual and he's just like by curious then like i can be making him uncomfortable but like i don't know how i could be making him uncomfortable because like i never did anything like i never spoke to him or anything sometimes i used to speak to him but like there was a point where like he knew and i was like too afraid to talk to him like if you talk to your crush you are bold but like that was like a different level of bold and he's the type of guy that was like in like a million relationships like he would constantly be in a relationship like as soon as he break up with someone like the next day he'll be someone else i don't know why i did not find that unattractive but like i really liked this guy like he was like one of my first boy crushes like ever like an actual actual crush and yeah i actually liked him for four years the thing that used to annoy me is like my friends used to kind of like tease me about it and be like oh like i'm gonna go tell him like they used to call his name in front of me which now i'm like kind of that's kind of messed up because like i would never do that to any of them but like a lot of them were like be like oh like do this before i call him over here like not like my old best friends but like like some of them used to like always do that to me like try to scare me into doing stuff for them which like how could you do that like especially like me being gay like how do i explain it like i'm kind of like still shy about it like this is like my first boy crush and like people were like oh like, like i'm gonna call here like to scare me like i used to run away i used to run away little and then used to run away <laughs> For a second, I kind of want to go off the path of, um, like, boy crushes and stuff. Um, but I, like, the reason I think that I haven't had a boyfriend yet is because me, I'm a person who, even though I want a boyfriend a lot, I would never, ever settle. <laughs> like all because i'm like oh like i want a boyfriend really bad like i will always know my worth and i'm never just gonna take what's thrown at me if it's not what i'm looking for or if it's not what i deserve clap if you care <laughs> clap if you clap if you care and i honestly wish that upon all of you like i want you babies to like know your worth like you have so much worth and never let a guy or a girl or anyone who doesn't confirm with a gender let you make you feel like you have to choose them because you're not gonna get anyone else because i promise you that you are like you guys all deserve people who value you who love you for you not someone who just wants you because they want a relationship like you want someone who's in love with you and will do anything to not lose you to make you happy you want someone who is obsessed with loving you and i don't mean obsessed in a weird way i mean you want someone who shows you how much they love you all the time and please 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 don't settle because it's so 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 important to remember your worth and remember that you have value like i rather wait a couple more months or even a year you never know when you're gonna, gonna get a boyfriend girlfriend whoever like you honestly never know like me i don't know when i get the boyfriend it could be this week it could be next year it could be in two years you never know but all because i'm wanting a boyfriend doesn't mean that anything that comes at me i'm gonna be like you know what You're like i want a boyfriend so i'm gonna settle for you no like i know my worth and i have high standards i want guys to actually love me for me i want them to get to know evan not evan the artistry like the makeup artist you know what i mean and not even like in a cocky way but like i want them to just love me for like just evan like i want them to love all the parts of me like my attitude sometimes and how much i love them and what i love and 
like what I'm interested in. Like I want someone to love what I love, you know what I mean? I want to bring someone home to my mom and I want him to have a bond with family and what I most want in a boyfriend is like, I want a boyfriend who like like has like a bond with my mom and like like my mom means everything to me so like if he had a bond with her like that would make my entire entire relationship so beautiful and like magical like I want my mom to just love who I'm dating and love who I'm with and be just proud of him being with me and who I'm with and going to like family functions with him and like like him on my arm and just like I just want someone who like wants to not only be my boyfriend but also be like my partner in crime. I always tell myself all the time like Evan like what if this is the universe like telling you that you didn't get a boyfriend for all these years because when you do get a boyfriend he's gonna be exactly what you want and he's gonna be perfect for you and everything that you want in a boy you're gonna be everything that he wants in a boy and he's gonna love you for everything that you are i want someone to talk about my future with and me being a content creator is overprotective of me but not in the way that's like obsessive like in the way that like they care about me you know like i oh, i just want to feel like protected and loved and like cherished like, i want to feel i just want to feel like appreciated like just like being him supporting me like i really want like a supportive boyfriend who supports everything i do and like him loving my makeup looks and like always like hyping me up like i always like i've always wanted that like i just want to be happy and just like i like can't wait to find my person one day and i can't wait to find someone who Real fast, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about a guy that I liked in freshman year of high school and how the situation ended and how I was basically heartbroken. Not surprised. Alright you guys, so this part of the video, I talked about something that happened in freshman year of high school and about this boy that I had a crush on, but honestly I feel like it was kind of pathetic but even though it really hurt really bad and it actually like it was one of my heartbreaks when it came to a boy because it was actually really sad to me and it was on valentine's day one of my like worst days that i hate right now because i'm single and i feel like people make you feel super super alone when it comes to valentine's day and i was just talking about that whole situation here and honestly i'm like over it so i didn't want to put it in this video um i don't know why i put it i just wanted to make sure the video was long enough where it was like a good watchable video but honestly i'm like done with this story so honestly let's just speed it up because girl i'm over it so this eye is all complete i'm gonna go do the other eyeshadow off camera from some lashes and then we'll be back to tell a little bit more stories talk about more boy situations and finish the base makeup and then yeah let's just continue with the video give me a second i'll be right back all right guys so i just threw on some lashes to finish this eye and it's looking very symmetrical and cute i feel very beautiful and now i'm gonna tell you guys a story that happened the other day with a boy trying to date me and it just went wrong because men are dumb let's get into it so the other day i was on facetime with my best friends jaylee and nigel pop up some pictures of them right here and we basically were just like chatting we always like these um midnight like facetime calls so like we were just on facetime like being done together like always just what besties do and this guy hits me up around like 4 a.m and he's like hey and i'm like hey <laughs> and he's like oh i had to slide up because you're fine as f and i was like Ooh, wait a second so i was like this guy just called me fine and i was like this is too good to be true this never happens to me and then he's like i'm single and i drive lol <laughs> then he proceeds to ask me if i'm single or not and i said yeah i am single and he was like okay let's get to know each other so i can make you mine 
and then I'm starting to converse with him and I'm like okay like let's get to know each other like where are you from and he's like I'm from Houston Texas I was like ugh you're from Houston Texas like I wish you lived in New York because whoever I date like I want them to be from New York or like where they can visit me and meet me because like I want to hug them I want to see them whenever I want you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> like the thing is you don't live in New York so how are we gonna see each other whenever I want you're not gonna just be coming back from New York to Houston like obviously not and then he was like but my dad lives in New York so like it's easy for me to see you if we want to see each other so he's like send me pictures of you so I sent him some cute little pictures um that like were from my Instagram like I didn't send him like anything like, personal or anything they were all from my Instagram he, he seen them but he wanted to see more pictures of me send them and he's like they so fine kind of making me dot 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 so I was like then he was like but he started asking like sexual questions and I would skip them because like we just started talking like five minutes ago I don't know you I don't know who you are and you're saying that you want to date me but you're already asking me like so many sexual questions you know what I mean like I don't even know your fucking like last name and you're already asking me like all these sexual questions so every time he would ask me like a sexual question, um, I would like ignore it and just like say something else. And like I think he noticed that I was ignoring them. And like sometimes like he would reply and like bring it back down to the conversation, like what he was saying, like the sexual comments. And I was like, I just met you. Like why? Like why do men? Why do men want sex right away? Like, I just met you. Like, I've known you for five minutes. Like, I want to get to know you first. You know what I mean? Like, you literally don't know who I am. I don't know who you are. And we're getting to know each other. But, like, let's just keep it friendly for now. Like, we've literally been talking for, like, five minutes. I swear. I'm like, I'm just going to avoid them and just keep on talking. Like, I just said that I wanted to get to know you. So, we just keep on talking. I'm like telling him more about myself, he's telling me more about himself and it keeps on coming up the same sexual questions and I'm like it's like it turned me off right away because like if that's what you want right away it's kind of like you're using me in a way babe if all you're talking about is sex it's such a turn off like can we just talk about ourselves like I just got to know you I just met you and you're already talking about sex so basically he just keeps on bringing up like so many sexual things and he's like please like can i see like your body like like he's saying so many things that i'm getting like already like turned off and uncomfortable like i almost like wanted like to just shut down the conversation because it's like really really uncomfortable to me that i just met you like a few minutes ago and you're already asking to see my body without asking me to like explain who i am and like you don't want to know me you just want to know my body and that's disgusting when i just met you it shows what you were really here for basically it ended up with me blocking him because he started like begging to see my body like that's all he started talking about and i was like honestly i don't think this is gonna work i sent him a huge paragraph i was like i don't think this is gonna work like i told you that i want to get you more every time that you like um ask something sexual like i ignore it because it makes me uncomfortable because like you're one of the like first guys who were like interested in me and like all this stuff and he's like can you please send me one like i'm kind of desperate at this point and i was like I was like you're serious right and he was like please so i'll stop asking and i blocked him like it was like so disgusting and my best friend was like like guys only want sex like it was so disappointing because i was kind of getting like my hopes up but at the end of the day being single is way less stressful and i'm kind of glad it stood that way honestly that entire situation with the guy dming me and all of that like it really taught me the like, well, like there's some guys who literally only want to get to know you to like be sexual and like ask you sexual questions that make you uncomfortable because like you have to be a little you have to be a little slow to ask me all these questions and then me you see me ignoring them and then you keep on asking them like obviously i'm gonna be thrown off like i don't think guys like no like that it was gonna make me uncomfortable but like if i keep on ignoring them like you shouldn't make you shouldn't want to make someone uncomfortable like that like it was kind of awkward and weird and yeah so that happened the other day and now it's gone and that will always be a story i'm gonna go do the little bow and arrow and the hearts and i'll be right back to do the lip and close out the video so i'll be right back honestly just want to tell you guys that i know 
we spoke about some pretty crazy boy stories today like my experience with boys me having crush on boys but even though i've had not the best experience with guys at all i still am very optimistic and very hopeful that one day i will find a boy that loves me for all of me not just the good parts and yeah so i'm very optimistic about it and i hope it happens one day I really hope you guys enjoyed talking with me today. Um, I just did this really cute Valentine's Day look that will be posted on my Instagram today when this video is uploaded. So go check it out on Instagram. My Instagram and TikTok are just both at Evan Artistry, the same username. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below to be an angel, a part of the angel family. And also give me a big thumbs up. It helps me so much. And also comment down below what your favorite part of this video was. Was. I love you guys so 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 much and I hope you guys enjoyed just chatting with me today about these boy stories while I did this really cute Valentine's Day look. I feel so pretty and it came out so cute so I'm super 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 happy. I love you guys so much. I love you, love you, love you. Please take care of yourself. Love yourself and yeah, I love you. Bye angels.